Good morning, everybody. So glad to see you here. Today's gonna be a little different, more of a vlog style. A day in the life when we're not going camping. I'm in the 8-1 Suburban. Sarah's gonna be behind me in the Z71. I gotta go drop this off at the Tracer Custom Shop because the rear AC blower is not functioning, so me or Tim will dig into that this next week when we have time. But I just got a text, it's Saturday morning, but I got a text from a customer a few minutes ago and their internet is down. A storm just came through this morning and they don't have internet. So I'm gonna swing by there real quick. It's one of the local vet clinics. So they probably kind of want that working. I'm gonna swing by and check on that real quick. And then I'm gonna go drop this off at Tracer Custom Shop. Then I'm gonna grab the tow truck and we're gonna go pick some peaches and maybe go swimming and maybe explore some roads. So it's gonna be a good day. We'll see what all happens. I guess the rain isn't done yet. Hopefully it's done by the time we get to the peach orchard. All right, got them back up and running. Probably a power outage, I'm guessing from the storm. Probably made some of their equipment reboot and some. sometimes when things get shut down and then powered back on unexpectedly, they don't boot up properly. So reboot in a certain order with a few pieces of equipment, everything's back on and good to go. So. I'm gonna head on to the shop. I gotta drop this off and get the tow truck and see if it starts this morning. Oh yeah, eight one. All right, we're all down here at the shop now. So eight one's gotta get dropped off. Tow truck's over there. I gotta put it, see if it will start. And then, uh, hit the road. Uh, we gotta get gas first. Let's see. Get the keys. We got this truck in here. It's getting worked on. I got the camper in here because I got some stuff to do on it. Just lots of stuff going on. All right, let's, let's see if the truck starts this morning. She's alive! We've been having some problems with it. We'll probably have some problems today. It's all part of the fun. <laughs> hey guys, sorry about that. Alrighty, we're fueled up and on the road. The truck is noisy. It ain't got no AC, but it's gonna be a good day. Let's head to the peach orchard. We're going to peach picking paradise. We're gonna pick some peaches. All right, we're out here at peach picking paradise. We come out here almost every summer to pick peaches. We got real good peaches. The kids are probably going to be sticky in a minute. Yum, you want the rest? <laughs> or was I on another bite now? Okay, here. Fine, take it back. I found a good one here. This is a white nectar. Super sweet. Really good. I thought it was just barely soft. Took a bite out of it and just like that's fine. Alrighty, we're done. We got two baskets here. We're gonna pay for these and see if the tow truck will start. It wouldn't start after I pulled in and tried to start it again. It's got some hot start issues. 
and I'm not sure exactly what it is. I gotta get that figured out. So we'll see if it starts when we go to leave. Well, and I got it running with a little bit of complaining and grunting and groaning, but she's going. She doesn't like to start when it gets hot, but once it cools off, fires up again. But it's kind of weird. We're gonna meet up. Uh, we're gonna go out to the Union Schoolhouse and troubleshoot a security camera out there. So we're gonna run out there and do that. I gotta meet up with the guy that uh, maintains that place and get a key for the for some stuff. So we're gonna meet up with him and then head out to the Union Schoolhouse. Creek is looking good. It just rained last night. This is a fair, quite a bit of water for mid-July. It's it's not usually running this good. This is really nice. We're gonna find a good swimming hole today. It's it's gonna be so nice. This truck is so hot. No AC, just heat coming up through the floor. It's a hot truck to drive around in the summer. Creek, it's gonna be cold. It's gonna feel good. It is always cool to stop by the Union Schoolhouse. Just a really neat old structure. And the guy that maintains it, they, they do a fantastic job. Super cool. We added a, so much stuff since the first time we were out here. The desks and everything. Just really neat historical place. And yes, we do have security cameras on this. We helped them out with that a while back. And uh, just to help prevent, you know, most people come out here respect everything. But just in case... Just a little extra security because this is the kind of place you don't want something to happen to. You want this to last for generations so people can see the his history and everything. So respect things like this and take care of them. And uh, that way your kids and your grandkids, your great grandkids can see them down the road. So I think we're going to head out here in a minute. We've had some sandwiches. Don't know what we need to do here. I think we're going to go on down the road. Probably check out the falls down there and then probably double back and go on and find a swimming hole somewhere. All right. parking brake. We're heading out. We're going to go on down the road here a little ways down to the waterfall. Take a look at that and try not to get stuck in any of these mud holes. There's some pretty nasty mud holes down through here and then there's a really rough road going out. I'm not going to bother with it today because I just don't want to fool with it. We're going to go down here and check out the waterfall and then we're going to go back and find a swimming hole somewhere. That's what we're here to do now. So we're going to find a swimming hole. Cool off.
Some of the truck's problems are manifesting themselves pretty good right now. She's not really wanting to stay running, so we're gonna go ahead and turn around. It's not that much further to the falls, but we got some deep mud holes to go through, and I, it's not starting well. It's not running really good right now. It was running fine earlier, but the rough roads and stuff, we got a lot of work to do on the motor. It's not running great right now, and it's not worth going any further in if it's not gonna run better than this. So, it is what it is. We're gonna whip around and head back out and go find a swimming hole before we get stuck or do something dumb. Hopefully. <laughs> truck it's just not a not a happy old truck and i'm not happy with it if anybody wants to buy a 1988 v30 runs great no i'm kidding we'll get it fixed we just need some parts and some time so now we're gonna go swimming <laughs> all right we are back out in the woods and looking for a swimming hole it's really nice to drive a vehicle that runs right and has air conditioning. It's actually pretty nice. All right, let's see if we can find a swimming hole where there's not five million people already. somebody at that one so we're gonna go down a different road and try some other spots the creek's a popular place in the summer because there's nowhere else to cool down well there's people everywhere we got a couple more down this road that might not have anybody but so far there's people at pretty much every good swimming hole and only a couple of not great swimming holes that don't have people and they're kind of a pain to walk down to so I do need we'll keep it looking all the options on this road so on to another road we might not find a swimming hole today i can't take a good picture of my phone oh you have your phone it's not Whoever was at this spot left a minute ago, so I'm gonna walk down here and see if this is worth uh, how good a swimming hole this. It just rained actually quite a bit in the last couple of days. So the creeks are up. They're a little bit muddy, so they're not as clean as they usually would be, but there is water. Sometimes this time of year there's no water. So you see that water is kind of brown and muddied up. 
but there's been times where there wouldn't even be water here at all. So this isn't a bad spot. It's just not quite as clean as we usually like. Well, we'll see what Sarah thinks. Alrighty, after a fair amount more driving and navigating the nasty mud holes, this road has some of the worst mud holes I've seen. There's some nasty mud holes. But we made it around some of the bypasses and now we're at this really beautiful spot. And there's nobody out here because it was harder to get to. So, water's still not quite as clean, but it is cleaner here than over at the other, on that other branch of the creek. So. We're going to hang out here. And we have sunshine, which means my sunburn can get worse, but uh, we'll have some sunshine to warm up in because the water's chilly. Current's about to wash the, my feet out from under me. This rock's a little slippery. I kind of want to sit right there. That looks like a fun spot to sit. <laughs> You're gonna get washed away, laser. <laughs> you will.
This isn't too bad. It's really nice. Should have brought a fishing pole. I thought about it, but I was like, nah, not gonna bother, but I really wanna fish some of these pools now. This is beautiful. This is really nice for July. Usually the creeks are a lot lower. A lot of times there wouldn't be but a trickle through this area. So it's slightly muddied up, but not bad. So, and very refreshing, but not too cold. Well, we're about to have to load up, but this has been a really nice spot. Perfect temperature, nice water, beautiful day, a nice ending to the day. Hopefully we can make it back through the mud holes. We came through, we, they weren't too bad, but there's a couple iffy spots. We should be okay, we'll make it back through the mud holes. Other option is to take this road up and then it goes up on top of that mountain over there. And I've done that in my black work truck without a rear locker. I think the Suburban could do it, but it's a pretty good hill climb and there's some sketchy spots. And if you did slide off in one of the washed out areas, you'd be in a little bit of trouble. So I don't think I want to tackle it today solo with everybody here and with it getting dark soon. So we'll tackle that another time, but it's been nice. Perfect spot. So we're about to load up and head out. found some green muscadines. We're not gonna tell you where they're at though, because we'll be back to harvest those later. <laughs> couple of roots right there. One's halfway under, that's why. Well guys, we're back home. It's the end of another typical Saturday when we're not out doing adventures. 
update on our garden it looks really bad we've kind of been neglecting it and that hailstorm we had it just wiped our corn got blown over beat up our tomato plants it just about killed them some of them it, it really has killed this was a lush green tomato plant before the hail it just beat them up so our tomato crop this year is not gonna be near as good our beans survived our purple peas survived cucumbers eh, squash eh, they're they're doing okay but we've been neglecting it obviously we need to weed we've been gone too much and when it gets hot and there's rain the weeds grow so we gotta catch up on yard work now so we're gonna call it a day and we'll see you next time thanks for watching maybe eventually we'll get the tow truck going maybe